the appeal of junk food, Kevin. Yeah, I just got to say, right? Junk food, that's, uh, who, who wouldn't like that, right? Well, here we are with Sky Tracker Doppler radar again. Uh, maybe some backyard barbecues going on right now. Common July weather. And again, a few pop-up showers and storms here. Mercer County, Oliver as well. No severe weather at the moment. Don't really expect any here. But again, a few lightning strikes. So you might be hearing a few rumbles of thunder around Beulah right now. Otherwise, that's about it, really. Not much else happening throughout western or central North Dakota. And again, just this chance here. that might actually, but holds together moving toward Mandan and Bismarck by mid evening, but not expecting a lot of rain for most areas. The core of the heat centered again in Montana. That's where it has been the past couple of weeks here. 94 in Billings, 93 in Glendive, 95 in Rapid City. So we've had some uh, mid to upper 90s in these places. Most of North Dakota, though, still in the 80s here, lower 80s farther toward the east. But as that high continues moving away, that was the center of the cooler air mass. The farther displaced we are from that, the hotter it gets statewide. Right now, though, 81 in Fargo, but 88 in Bismarck. We're almost at 90 degrees. My not 84 degrees, 90 in Dickinson, widespread 90s here for the Mondak region. And the humidity, of course, has been on the rise. The best measurement of the comfort scales. I keep talking about the dew point here. And again, this is going to be the case the next several days here. Feeling a bit humid, maybe muggy at times as our dew points by perhaps next week, getting even closer to 70 degrees. But tomorrow begins the North Dakota State Fair with a chance for an afternoon shower or thunderstorm, just like the weather we have right now around Beulah. Look for winds overall north northeast around 5 to 15. That holds right through the weekend, in fact, with mid to upper 80s. Nothing too out of the ordinary and uh, no real bona fide heat waves on the way for a while. So for tonight, there's that isolated chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Overnight lows, though, will be in the 60s. So we won't have those refreshing 50s like we've had for most areas here. So getting off to a warmer start to start things off in the morning. And then with the afternoon instability, a weak wave moving through the atmosphere again. A little bit more robust than the one right now, more widespread. And that just simply means a better chance for isolated storms in the, just, just about the entire first warm viewing area. And that will continue through tomorrow evening. Chances for severe primarily in South Dakota, maybe far southern North Dakota. I'm expecting most of our showers and storms to be non-severe, though, for tomorrow afternoon. And most of us will not have measurable precipitation tonight. We stay in the 80s, then 70s until late evening. Overnight lows again will be in the 60s. Here we go, 8 o'clock in the morning, 68 in Bismarck. Chances for scattered showers and storms, but a little cooler farther north, to at least in the middle of the day, uh, but back into the 80s here, mid to upper 80s for Minot as the state fair gets underway. Otherwise, the big story again is going to be the smoke and haze. In fact, I have a feeling it's going to get even thicker between tomorrow and the weekend. Hopefully, mostly a loft. Seven day forecast. Typical, there's July right there. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not going to argue with yeah, that. Yeah, all right, good. <laughs>